Now back to 127,000 chips. Puts Bell back on the short stack. Bold. Four-handed. Perez with the ace four in the big blind. Bold. Has got to recognize he's got a powerful hand. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Perez doesn't have to do anything. Super early this year. Huh? I said it came super early this year. Yeah. Oh. A lot of them with the queen jack. Hot size bet. 30,000. Three raises to 30. Should be good enough. Waterman will add 15,000 chips to his lead. Bold. So four players fighting now for one seat, and it continues to be Dennis Waterman. Overwhelming lead in the chip count at 137,000. Normally, Barry, we see 60, 70 percent of the hands going to a flop. Tonight, less than half the hands. That means these players are very active pre-flop, very aggressive. Take a look at the chip count and where we stand right now, and it is Dennis Waterman again continuing to rule the roost right now at 137,000. Sal Bucciolato who came back from the dead, 62,000. Danny Perez at 59,000. Ralph Bell now short stack at 42,000. Everybody else has won two pots since Ralph Bell last won a pot. So he's playing cautiously, and it's not serving him well. Some would say Ralph Bell is due. Oh. I would say. 12? What is it, 12? Or 10. 10. 10. And I don't oh. like Perez's call there, Barry. This is not the time with the blinds this high to just call off 10,000 of your precious chips. Three players to the flop, a competitive hand. There's Bucciolato with a pair. And Perez has top pair with the king kicker. Bucciolato bottom pair and a gut shot straight draw. Call. Yep. Ooh, instant call from Perez. Cool. Knew he had the best hand. And he is a two to one favorite. Bad news for Bucciolato is that that straight card, well, Bell had one of the sixes. So there are three sixes left, three fives, and two fours. Those are his outs at this point. It's a 10. Nothing's changed. Looking. Eight outs, or Perez will double. That's enough. So Perez. 49. 49. 49. Yep. Taking a count here just to see. I think Perez he will double through, and Bucciolato will have three or four chips left, exactly. Barry. Exactly. So Bucciolato has gone from up to down to up. Really down. The veritable roller coaster ride. Exactly. And now that makes Perez a player. And Perez now has gotten himself within 9,000 chips of Dennis Waterman. And there was nothing Waterman could do about it except watch. I'm very impressed with how quickly Perez made that call there. It certainly didn't seem like an easy, clear call, but he seemed to know where he was at. He's played very consistently, which a lot, of course, will have to go all in here. All three players. Six, an ace, and a seven. Waterman. All in. Pair. Beal says, or Bell rather says, I'm going all in. And that's just a really silly play there by Bell. Not sure why he really wants to do that. Yes, there is a side pod, but generally you don't invest chips into what we call a dry pot. Bucciolato can only win 9,000 chips here. So Bell has to have this explained to him. He's got to turn the cards up. And Bell still does have the best hand with a queen high. Bucciolato looking for a jack or an eight or a six or a diamond. None of that happens. So Bell somehow manages to escape here. I'm not quite sure he's figured out exactly what happens. What he does know, though, is that Bucciolato is gone. That's it. That 
a tough night for Buchelot. I think the guy is really a pretty good player, to be honest with you, but he just didn't get the best of it. And when it really mattered, he particularly didn't get the best of it. And I'm sure he will replay a number of hands over and over again in his mind. So he's got to take that walk that uh, nobody really wants to make. Buchelot will be our third player eliminated. Well, are you ready to be part of the most exhilarating and breathtaking poker series ever? Every week, six lucky players get flown out here to Las Vegas, and they will compete inside the Poker Dome just like the players tonight. And we'd love to welcome you to the game, so log on to MansionPoker.com. Earn your shot at a million dollars. All that news went three times. All seems pretty easy, doesn't it? Perez is now, believe it or not, our new chip leader. Might have heard the blinds are going to go up on the next hand. Ooh, look at this. Call the pot. 35,000. Call the pot. Call the pot. Call the pot. Waterman. Old gamesmanship. Waterman desperately wanted to see the flop for free. Now what does Perez do? Oh, he could get in trouble here. Wow, Merry Christmas to you. Yep. Whoa! What a good fall. Had a good read, didn't he? Very good fold. Three-handed. A lot of guys aren't able to get away from King 10. So now the blinds are 8,000 and 16,000. Very. Danny Perez has only been playing 17 months. He has no pro experience whatsoever, but he is handling himself very well. We've got a contest here. Waterman going to push. And this is the exact situation we should, we saw the last yes. hand. Yes. King, queen raises, and what does the guy with King 10 do? Perez was able to fold it. Will, Ralph, right. Bell. No, he's not able to fold it. You just throw your all in, but yeah. Over 60,000. There he goes. 60. 60,000, right. and of course, Waterman will go on with this, I believe. Yes, he does. And we'll be delighted to see that he has Ralph Bell dominated. So, Ralph Bell down to uh, the last, last gasps. Threes, three threes. Wow. Good tie possibilities yes. here. In fact, this hand will tie more often than not. It is a tie. How do you like that? A split pot, and Bell has got to absolutely breathe a sigh of relief with <laughs> that, because he lives to play another day. And I'm sure he's asking himself, how did this happen? We're coming back.